Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about manifestation because it's something that I am working on and learning about almost daily, essentially. And something that I've come to understand is when we are focusing on manifestation and what we want to actually bring into our physical reality because a lot of the time like you're taught that you need to visualize it and really experience it and stuff but for me I've noticed the difference between when I'm visualizing what I want and really putting myself in that situation as if it's happening in real time and really allowing my emotions to experience it like it's happening right now and it like makes me so excited and whatever kind of like joyful emotion it is that I'm going to feel in that moment of it being real versus visualizing something and still being consciously in the present and feeling like it's never going to happen or feeling desperate for it to happen and like you almost kind of resist it and cling to it at the same time if that makes any sense where you're like resisting the possibility of it happening but then clinging to the longing and wanting of it to happen but feeling like it's not going to and it kind of puts you in this like lack mentality so I think it's so important and key to pay attention to how you're manifesting like what kind of things you're intentionally doing or even unintentionally doing whether you're um like whether you're resisting it essentially and whether you're coming from a place of lack because you desperately want it but you don't feel like it's possible or whether you're actually coming from it from the place of like I know it's possible I know it's mine already I know it's happening and this feels so good to just kind of put myself there you know I think there's a fine line between the two and we need to have some awareness of them because there has been many times when I've gone to visualize something that I really wanted and then I realized later on that I was doing it out of fear it was really coming from fear and lack because I felt like it was taking too long to get here and it would stress me out and then it kind of puts you in that low vibration to where you're not actually gonna bring it in the way that you want because now you're resisting it and you're going to cause all kinds of obstacles for yourself that don't need to be there if you would just surrender and relax and let yourself really enjoy that visualization of going to wherever it is that you want to go. So it's just really important to pay attention to what it is that we're actually doing. And I feel like that's important in everything, in every moment kind of thing. But especially when you're doing rituals, you're doing visualization, you're meditating and those kind of things. Just having that self-awareness to observe and really kind of step out of the emotion of it sometimes. Like before you're going into a um visualization practice just really setting your intent for what you want to achieve and why you're doing it and how you're going to go about it before you start doing it so that you don't start lowering your vibration and then kind of letting that spiral and getting stuck in the fear and then doubting that anything's possible and stuff you know it's essentially like planting a seed because you want to literally go in there and visualize it which is like planting it and you're really experiencing it you're feeling the vibration of it like it almost feels like like it's literally happening right now but then you need to be able to step away and allow that to grow without having that resistance and that lack mentality and the lack the beliefs based in lack that then kind of um it's almost like taking away sunlight or taking away the essential things that a plant needs to grow you know like those thoughts those negative thoughts and belief system that people have is like removing the essential things that plants need so it's just about being consciously aware because obviously we can't stop thoughts from coming in so negative thoughts can come in and that's not going to block your manifestation but it's when you attach to them you allow them to affect your emotions and then when they affect your emotions you then allow yourself to stay stuck in that emotion and then you stay stuck in that emotion for a long period of time and then you really believe everything that these thoughts are saying that's how you then kind of block your blessings, so to speak. So it's not a one one um, instance thing that blocks it, it's the continuation of it that blocks it. So it's just really important to 
be aware of our beliefs and learn to reprogram them because essentially we are having to undo everything that we've been taught. So yes, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out the description box below for everything about me, my music, social media, phone number, jewelry brand, one-to-one -one sessions and everything else is all in the description box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload twice a week and I will see you in the next video. How did we get to this feeling I'm feeling? How did this open up after the healing? Flaws all exposed when I thought they could fade Wounds are exposed in so many ways